Hi guys, welcome to Nyonya Cooking. When I uploaded recipes of Chinese soups which are really nutritious, many of you requested for more. It's not because it's so easy but because they are really nutritious due to the different individual ingredients that we'll be using. Uh, in this recipe, I'm going to show you how to prepare one of my favorite Chinese soups and this is how to prepare watercress soups. It has very light taste to it and then it's also sweet because we are using red dates and also goji berries and these are basically superfoods which are very nutritious and the base of this broth will be pork bones and pork bones are known to give you a lot of collagen and it's also good for your health so let's look at the ingredients now if you can find fresh watercress, feel free to use it but on my side, I am not able to find any therefore I'm going to use some dried watercress here so this is basically how it looks like um, just use half of it what I did was I hydrated it into a bowl of water overnight um, and I'm left with this now so to add some sweetness, we're going to add some uh, red dates which are known to be really high in vitamin C and also some goji berries and goji berries uh, known to add some to really boost your immune system um, as for the base of this broth I'm, uh, as I have mentioned I will be using pork bones now if you do not want to use pork bones feel free to use chicken bones or my favorite to use anchovies now just to get rid of the smell from the pork bones we are going to add some um, ginger slices and I'm going to show you how to do that in a while here I have a pot of boiling water I'm going to add the ginger slices And then very quickly, the pork bones. Now you can either get this at a supermarket or from your butcher. So say in about 10 seconds, this is done. So this is the pot that I'll be using to boil my soup and I'm adding some water into it. Then increase the heat to maximum. This is when I'm going to add the pork bones and then watercress Don't forget the red dates and also goji berries Now what's happening in this pot is really exciting because it's finally boiling vigorously So I'm going to turn the heat low very very low and allow this soup to simmer for at least one and a half hours now I know a lot of you might be saying what one and a half hours that's really long but this is the beauty of uh, Chinese soups which are really nutritious because we cook it in a very long time and then you get to absorb all the nutrients and added to that it's really delicious it just gives so much warmth to the soul I left the soup boiling for about two hours now so it's gonna be really delicious because you know uh, as I've mentioned the longer you boil this the more delicious this would be It's so delicious. If you love Chinese soups, you're gonna love this recipe. Now because we have already cooked the pork bones with some ginger earlier on so it doesn't have this pork stain in the soup, it's very mild, it's just so soothing. Uh, you're gonna love this especially if you're experiencing winter now and um, I really recommend this recipe because it's just so nutritious. Now uh, the soup by itself is not salty at all so if you want some more taste to it, add some salt to taste but not too much, um, it's really up to you and I hope you try this recipe and tell me your thoughts in the comment section below and if you're in for more low for tong or Chinese soups leave me your comments and also remember to tag your photos when you try recipes from Nyonya cooking on Instagram till then I hope to see you again I wish you happy cooking